Hey guys, Tristan here. Today I'm going to be showing you a video on how to put on the Bitwell Z handlebars on the Harley 883 Sportster. So we're going to be exchanging or swapping the older stock handlebars and putting on these Bitwell Z bars. It's going to be pretty sweet guys, so stay tuned and let's get rolling. Okay guys, first thing first, you want to get like a towel of some sort and you want to lay your towel over your tank because as you know like Harley's matte black tanks are super easy to scratch so just lay something over the tank to protect it if the handlebars fall back and hit the tank so this should be fine from anything like falling off it shouldn't really scratch up the paint hopefully so that's the first thing you guys want to do next thing we're, we're going to do is we are actually going to come right back here if I have this to focus there we go and we're going to removing these T I think they're T25 T25 bolts here, here, and up top, there, and then I think that's all of them. So yeah, just those three we're gonna remove and that's gonna bring off uh, the bars right there. Okay guys, uh, my fault, it's actually a T27 you wanna use to remove these. So we are going to remove these right now. They're gonna be on there pretty good from all the Loctite. So you have to give it just a little bit of force so don't don't loosen it all the way off, just loosen it enough. So there's that one. And we're gonna get the one that's underneath that, like this. And I just have a hand on here, guys, just in case uh, it drops, you don't want it to hit your bike. So just have a hand kind of hanging on to it, and then slowly loosen each, each of these screws, and once you get them pretty loose, you can use your hands to unscrew the rest of them out. I don't know if you can see this, but guys, but uh, just using my fingers to twist the rest of these bolts out. I'll probably fast forward it from uh, this point, guys. Okay, guys, I just took off your uh, your brake right here. And I'm just letting it hang there, as you can see. So just remove it from here and you can just slowly just let it hang on these wires right here just for now. We're just gonna keep it there for now. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna move this uh, T27 up here, and we're gonna take off that side of the, the handlebar portion. Okay guys, we're gonna now remove the top and bottom bolt that are holding the throttle cables in. So these, this is a T25 you wanna use, a T25, and we're gonna loosen these up. And that's gonna twist because these, uh, these screws are not self-retaining like these other ones that were over here. So set these somewhere uh, important that you're not going to lose them. I'm just going to put them in my pocket for now. So we're going to get that one. And then we have one more underneath. I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not, guys. But we have one underneath here that we got to get out as well. Okay, guys. Uh, got this out of there now. Oh, barely caught it. So I'll put that also in your pocket or whatever. And now what we can do is this: these aren't going to want to come completely apart, guys. Because the throttle cables are holding them there. As you can see, the throttle cable is right there. So what we are going to want to do is we're going to want to take our bolts. We're just going to set them down right here on the table. You're going to want to have two wrenches. And we're going to come over here. And we're going to loosen up the throttle cable right here. All you got to do is pull down this black part and uh, it releases or it shows the throttle cable. So we're just going to loosen up the throttle cable so it's easier to work with. Just like that. Just gonna loosen that all the way down to the bottom. You come around front. As you can see, and loosen the second part then, like so. And that's gonna give the throttle cable more play so it'll be easier to pop it out. Just gonna set those wrenches on the ground. It's up in front. So now what we can do is we're gonna pop this up like this. Be careful because there's, wire, there's wiring in here as well. Be kind of careful with that. So now what we're gonna do, see how the throttle's got some play to it now, is we're gonna pop out the throttle cable, which isn't very hard to do. We gotta be careful because, here, bring the camera in close. There's these little brass fittings right here. They can just pop out at any time. See if the focus, there's a focus. So we're gonna take that brass fitting off like this. 
and don't lose these. These will get these will, can fall off very easily. So take that and you can just set that over by the table or wherever you're setting them. And then there's also one, one more that you need to do, which would be on the top portion. You get on this side. Right here, we also got to pop that out. So we're just going to bring that up. We're going to pop this out like that. We're going to take our brass fitting off. There we go. And there is that. And we're just going to put that over on the table as well. And now what we can do is we can pull right off your throttle. You can set that off to the side. And then we're just going to keep this hanging on here for now. But in the end, we're going to be taking this off. But right now, we're just going to keep it probably, yeah, well, we can, we can take it off just like this and let this dangle just like that. So now, where we're at is nothing over here. We're setting it all dangle right here. We're covering up our tank so it doesn't scratch or anything. So now, we're gonna get off this side over here. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so now we're gonna be taking out these, uh, these ones right here, right here and here. So, we're gonna come in here like this. And we're gonna take out these. Uh, they're in there pretty good. So you're gonna to to use just a little bit of force, but it's the same, same thing as the last side that we did. Uh, same process of taking everything apart. So that's what we're going to do now. And remember, these are self-retaining, so they're not gonna fall out. So we're gonna get that one, and we're gonna get the one that's beneath it. And that one was actually already kinda of loose, so make sure to tighten these up, guys, uh, when you're actually putting your, your bars back on. So we're gonna take off that, and there's that. I'm gonna set that off to the side. We're gonna pull off this like this. Oop, a little bit more, I guess. Got that off, set that somewhere off important so you don't lose these. And then this, we're all, we'll just be here just like this. So we're gonna have to take off these now. This one right here, and then there's another one beneath that we're gonna take off, I believe. Yep, that's right. Okay, so we're now we're gonna take off these ones up top. I think you actually could take off most of this with keeping it together, at least this side you could keep together, but I would just take it fully off. And these screws are not self-retaining like the other ones, so put these somewhere safe, don't lose them. Like I just did dropping it. <laughs> now we gotta get the one underneath it, which is right down here. And be very careful with these guys because after this one, I, it could just drop and you don't want that to hit your bike. So I'm going to set that off on the ground for now. Now this can all just come right apart. Be very careful when you're doing all this, guys, because you're not going to want to break any wires or anything. Because that would wreck it, and that would not be good. <laughs> you can also take out these little clips that are holding the wires in underneath. Just give it a little pull. And they should come right out. Give me a second. There we go. They are out now. So we're just gonna let this part dangle down here just like that. We can actually take out all these little clips underneath here. These little clips are these things right here. These are the little clips that are holding the wires up there. You can actually take these out. That's what they look like. So just take that out right there, take these ones out right here and here. And then I also gotta take this one out right here. And once we take those out guys, we can just unbolt our speedo and then our bars will be coming off then. This, these handlebar uh, grips are glued down so they don't come off. So let's get on, I'm gonna take these things out real quick and then we'll get on to taking this off. So be tuned. Okay guys, so I got the handlebars to move, uh, or not handlebars, I got these wires out so they can just hang freely. As you can tell, nothing connected to the handlebars now. So what we now have to do is take out these four bolts. There you go. So that is what we're going to do now, taking out these four bolts. Okay guys, so I loosened up all these where I can just get it by my hand. So I'm just gonna take all these out. All the bolts are the same size, so you don't really have to like ma match them on which one goes in which hole. But I would advise having someone, as you can tell, I have a bystander holding onto my bars right now while I'm doing this because I don't want my bars to drop on my tank. 
because your bars might drop on your tank unless uh, someone's holding it like that. So I have out the four. I'm just gonna set those down right there. And now what we can do is we should be able to pop this up. I'm gonna have my bystander just kind of hold on to the camera, something like that. And I'm just going to pop this right on up, just like that. We'll lay it off like that. And now we should be able to just kind of pull up on the handlebar just slightly. Careful where you put this, guys. Careful with the wires. I'm just gonna pull that up like that. That kind of came up good because it's in there real good, but now that's up. I'm just gonna set this back. Something right, table. right there. So now we have our handlebars off and now we're gonna get our next handlebars and put on our new ones on. So that's our next job. Let's okay guys, so I got my new handlebars on and I just put one bolt into here to hold my speedometer up. But your bars, you'll notice that they'll be able to move like this. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna put in the four bolts. Just kind of slightly, just screw them in with your hand, with your fingers. And then we'll start tightening them down with the wrench uh, to get them tight. But before, make sure before you tighten them down tight, you're gonna wanna get it where it's relatively even on both sides, even on your handlebars. Um, and then once you get them relatively even, you're gonna wanna be able to position them either up more or down more to your liking pretty much. So right now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna screw these down. When I, they uh, screw down, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I just put on the handlebars and I tighten these all pretty snug and then I was adjusting it to be where it's even on both sides. So I have it where it's even, I have the handlebars, I sat on the bike and I, I have the handlebars in the position that I would like. And once I did that, I just tightened up all these bolts uh, really good. But guys, make sure before you tighten these bolts, either put on thread locker or nail polish because you don't want these bolts uh, vibrating out because that'd be bad. <laughs> You'd lose your uh, steering capability. So make sure to put on thread locker or nail polish. But now the next step, guys, is just putting th everything back onto the bars and putting on the new grips. I mean, you could use your old grips, guys, from your old handlebars. Uh, you it would just you just gotta re glue them back on over here your left your left grip. But other than that, guys, let's put everything back on. Let's go. Okay, okay guys. Um, so I just put on my handle my my handle bar right here my grip, and now I'm starting to put on your cables. So all you do with these right here, guys, is you're just putting them on exactly how you took them off. It's very simple to do, and I would recommend uh, putting on either thread locker or nail polish on the bolts again. I would recommend that because who knows, you never want them to come loose really. So um, I would definitely recommend putting on like a thread locker or nail polish. So I tighten those in, not all the way, just nice and snug. And once those are in snug, you're just gonna wanna sit on your bike and just kinda feel the, the, K, uh, the throttle, like feel your uh, your buttons and just see if they're in like a, like a, a spot that feels relatively good. See, like, feel like the finger reach and all that. And I think these, these feel fine where they're at, so I'm gonna leave them right there. So now I'm gonna finish putting on the rest of the, uh, the, the your mirror and blinkers on. So that's what I'm gonna do next here. Okay guys, so I just finished putting all the controls back on. And I also did flip my mirrors. I, sh I did a video earlier in my series on how to flip your mirrors, guys. So if you don't know how to flip your mirrors, you can go and watch that. It's the same exact thing. But this is the finished product, guys, and what it looks like, the Bitwell Z-Bars. They look pretty rad. I really like the look of them, and I think it makes your bike look a lot better, guys. So, this is what the Bitwell Z-Bars look like on the bike. And I hope you guys learned something on how to put it all together. And make just some uh, make sure's um, for your brake. Make sure you hear this like clicking noise. Here, I'll put it right next to it. Maybe you'll hear it. I don't know if you can hear that, just listen again. But that clicking noise, make sure when you bring in your brake, you can just, right when you squeeze it, just barely, you'll hear a little quick clicking noise. And make sure you hear that clicking noise. 
if not your front brake's not going to be working and uh, you're going to want that to work. Um, and over here, make sure when you're squeezing it, everything feels right and it's pushing up against this little lever right in that crack. Make sure it's pushing against the lever. But that's it guys. Um, this is a Bitwell Z-Bar on my 2009 Harley Davidson 883 Sportster. Give you another look of it. So that's it guys. Um, later on I'll be doing uh, my whole mod list that I've, for everything that I've done to my bike. But till then, be tuned guys for some more uh, mod videos. And I hope you guys like this video. And if you have any uh, questions, comment down below. Have a nice day.